Hi guys, welcome to another video. I think I'm finally content with my luxury bag collection and I'm going to tell you why. I know I've told you before that I will never stop, that I love luxury bags and I will never stop buying them. And while that is true, I have got to a point where I love my collection just as it is. So let's talk about this because I promised I'm not being a hypocrite. Let's get going. I have just counted up how many bags I have bought this year and it is absolutely shocking. Shocking beyond, honestly, I can't believe it. I'm going to do a whole video on what I've bought and what I have sold separately, but I have bought a lot, a lot this year, but I've also sold a lot. So it's very interesting to see how many I've bought, how many I've sold, and where we are in the mix right now. My collection has changed beyond all recognition. And right now, right now, famous last words, I am so happy with it as it is. I have, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, and I'm getting hot under the collar talking about this. Um, I have two unboxings to do for you guys. One is coming very soon. Um, haven't filmed it yet, but it's coming. And the other one, it hasn't arrived yet. It's on its way, or it will be on its way within the next couple of weeks. And I, <laughs> the one that's here is amazing and I love it, but it is in more of the, it's a really lovely bag and I'm really glad I've got it. And I think it'll be really useful. I will tell you the whole story in the video when I unbox it, but the one that's coming, the one that's coming is spectacular, spectacular. And I am so happy, I'm so excited. And I should not have been buying this bag at all, particularly not this year. I had already decided that that was it for this year. I had to put myself on pause and just enjoy my collection but this came along and I I couldn't say no to it anyway I'll, I'll, I don't want to keep teasing you I will leave that until it arrives so I can talk about it properly but my sense of where I am with my collection now is so good that I just think I just feel very blessed and I'm feeling very content and that isn't like me normally I'm what's next what's next what's next and I think with just having a look at what I've bought and what I've sold has given me a real sense of looking why I've sold those, why I've bought the certain ones that I've bought. Some I've bought and sold in the same year, which is just, yeah, does that make them mistakes? So anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that in the video when I talk about the ones I have sold and why and all of that, But because we'll do a full roundup of the whole year. But I do think it has been a really good exercise for me to see how much money I've spent this year, which is shocking, but how much I've actually brought in from the sale of bags. So it actually offsets each other very nicely, which makes me very happy. Um, and it just gave me a sense of looking at what I have in my collection right now. And I can honestly say, other than the D-Joy, hang fire. I'm back, I am back. <laughs> Um, other than the D-Joy, which is here, my beautiful D-Joy in the mulberry colour, this is the only bag that I would say that I am even slightly on the fence with about letting this go. Every other bag in my collection, I've gone through every single bag and looked at it and just immediately have gone, love it, love it, love it, would never let that go, would never let that go. This is the only one that I would be even half tempted but even then, I don't, I'm really not sure. And I do, I've just mentioned this because I'd mentioned it in another video that I didn't love this as much as I hoped I would. And I think the reason is that the Lady Dior style overall is a little bit fancy, a little bit elegant for me. But I was drawn in by the colour and therefore I'm not going to let this go. I'm going to keep this and try to make it work because it is... I just think I'd regret letting this colour go. It is just so special. So I need to just use this bag. But that was the only one. I just wanted to give that a little bit of a, an honourable mention because that is the only bag out of every single bag I've got that I would even be, hmm, 
should I or should I keep it? Everything else, I just think, no, love that, love it, love it. Or I don't use it very much, but I don't care. I still love it and still want it. So I just thought I would talk through a few pieces because it's quite interesting as to my thought process behind some of these. Let's talk about these two at first. So this is the mini Capucines in the purple ostrich exotic leather and this is the Capucines BB in the flower crown and this one, let's bring this closer, this has got the mother of pearl in the flower crown and I oh, just think both of these are stunning and I also have my let me just grab this one I also have my lizard mini capucines now you may think why on earth do you need three capucines and of course of course nobody needs three capucines do they and because I have three and because they're all very beautiful I'm not going to wear any of these that much, but I am so happy I've got all of these in my collection. This is beyond a doubt my favourite Capucines, but this is a really close second and this is a really close second because to me they're very different. <laughs> Hear me out on this. None of them are going to get the wear that they deserve because I've got three of them and therefore just because you can't use all these things all the time because <laughs> I have too many things they're not going to get the wear but I think I've used this once <laughs> just once but I adore this bag this is my daughter's favourite bag out of my whole collection and I understand why because it's very understated but it's also got something about it and again I just need to use this more but my point with this really is that there are bags like these that I'm very, very lucky to have all of these. And because I'm, I feel so blessed, it is okay for me to have these in my collection, but know that they're not gonna get the use that they probably should because they can't possibly. <laughs> so as the coming months and, you know, weeks and months roll by, I will, I will start to use these a lot more. And I do, I've also talked about shopping my closet and that's what I'm going to do over the next few months. So I'm going to, once these other bags have been unboxed and then, famous last words, going to properly shop my closet and just really enjoy all of these bags and make sure that they actually get the use that they deserve. So there are pieces like this that really do not get the use but I'm still really happy that they are in my collection and they are not mistakes they are not regrets whether things will change in the future who knows but for now I'm really happy with the collection that I have let's quickly talk let's quickly talk about Hermes because this is my oh I just love this bag so much but then I don't love it as well but I'll explain this was my first ever Hermes bag direct from store all my Hermes bags are direct from store and this was the, the one that started it all and I cannot honestly I cannot tell you when I last used this it honestly it definitely isn't in the last year I don't think and why? Grey is one of my absolute favourites. The Kelly is one of my favourites. Hermes is one of my favourites. The bags. But, yeah, why have I not reached for this? Well, I think my tastes have evolved. And I think this year I've done a lot of... Not soul searching, because they're just bags, aren't they? But I've been a lot more open-minded. I've looked at colour and texture and... I think I've just looked at different things and explored more and therefore the original ones that were here from the start if you like particularly ones that are in grey um, have taken a little bit of a back seat while I, while I have embraced colour and different textures and to say that although this is very neutral just exotics and just looking into things that I've never looked into before so this hasn't really had a look in but it doesn't mean that I don't love it and it doesn't mean that it's going anywhere because it's not this is extremely sentimental to me as I say it's the first ever bag that I 
was offered and therefore bought from Hermes and this was my absolute dream bag. So when I was asked, what is your dream? If you could put anything down, it was this exact combination, this leather, hardware, colour, everything. This is, um, I haven't even told you what it is. This is the Kelly 28 in the Retourne style and this is in Togo leather and the colour is Gris Etan. And I just think it's the perfect grey. It's the perfect grey, it's beautiful. And therefore, yeah, it's one of those where I know this will come back around, but it's also very sentimental to me. So it will never go anywhere. There are certain bags that they will never go anywhere. This is another one, although I've used this a lot more than the Kelly, even though it's a bit annoying with the top handle, um, wish it was a little bit bigger so it could go on the crook of your arm a bit better, but the color, just look at the color of this. It's insane absolutely insanely beautiful so i am very very lucky that i've got a really good mix of things now i've just got my let's grab this one we're just having a look at all the eye candy today this is um my newest bag other than the ones i haven't unboxed yet so this is the sequin mini from chanel and it is oh just look at the sparkle and shine this is the one that I'm tripleting with, <laughs> with my good friends, um, Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet and Meredith from Living Looks with Meredith. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. And I cannot, cannot wait to use this over the festive season because I do think, I mean, I think you can use it anytime, anywhere, whatever you want to do. But this is my sort of dressy type of thing if there is anything going on over the festive um, period. So yeah, so again, the things I've got things that are very, just grabbing this one again, they're very different to each other, aren't they? But they're both spectacular in their own way. So I just think I've, I've managed to get a really diverse collection going and I have let go certain ones that I just, don't think fit anymore either fit me or fit the collection or are just yeah they're just money sitting on the shelf so I just wanted to talk about that there are times where we are going to feel very content how long that will last <laughs> who knows we I suppose only time will tell I know what I'm like and generally there's always what's next, what's next, because that's what drives me forward, whether it's YouTube, whether it's in business, whether it's just looking at new collections or whatever it is, I'm always thinking and looking at what's next. And I love the hunt for things and just looking at the fashion shows and it's part of the enjoyment for me is the um, research and I don't know, just hunting out different things and yeah, I, I just love it. So yes, I'm not going to stop. I'm not being hypo hypocritical by one minute saying that I love to buy these things. You can buy as many as you like. Who cares? Don't, nobody's going to stop me and all of that. And then in the next breath saying I'm content with my collection and I won't be buying anymore. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that at this moment in time, when I look around my closet and I just think, yeah, <laughs> just really happy and feel a lot of gratitude. I feel very blessed and very, I don't know, I do feel very privileged that I'm in the position that I can build a collection like this. So it all comes back to how content I'm feeling in general, I think. So I just thought I would share some of my thoughts with you. Um, don't come for me in two weeks when I just find something else I want to buy because, yeah, there will be videos coming that are, oh, this is on my wish list. I really like this one. I'm just telling you how I feel right now. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another one.